To create and submit a new incident notice, select the SIRS notice tile on the home page and then select Submit New Notice to begin filling out a new SIRS notice form. A new tab will open containing imported information regarding the SIRS notice. Read this information carefully, then select the Next button to proceed. Complete the relevant information on the Your Details tab. This is one that we have pre-populated with dummy user data for the purpose of this demonstration. Please be sure that you have entered information for each field marked with an asterisk. Once you have finished, navigate to the Incident Details tab by clicking the Next button. This is where we complete the details of the incident. A handy tip. If you are unsure of what is being asked, select the question mark icon for an explainer paragraph. This explainer provides important information about Priority 1 and Priority 2 incidents. For this example, we will make this reportable incident a Priority 1. We have completed the incident details, including who made the allegation, the details of the incident, the incident type, and have provided a detailed description. We can now select Next to complete the People Involved tab. Here we have completed the details of the people involved. The affected care recipient, their level of cognition, the level of psychological impact, the level of physical impact, and the subject of allegation details. You can include up to six subjects of allegation here. When finished this section, select Next to arrive at the Action Taken tab. Here we have completed the details on the actions taken. This incident has been reported to the police. The aged care recipient's representative, their family for example, have been contacted. We have outlined the specific actions taken to ensure the health, safety and well-being of the aged care recipient and specific actions taken to manage or minimise the risk of this reoccurring and we have included some further details in relation to this notice. After completing all four tabs of the SERS form, you will be taken to the Review and Submit page. If mandatory information is missing, a red X will appear at the bottom of the relevant page summary. On the Review and Submit page, review the information you have entered. You can navigate back to any tabs requiring edits using the pencil on the right. Once you have finished reviewing the information, Select Submit. A confirmation message will be displayed to confirm that the notification is ready for submission. Click Submit to send the notification. The submitted notification can now be viewed in the list of existing notifications. Please note, once a form is submitted, it cannot be retrieved or deleted.